Hello everyone. John Adams, a life story and career. John Adams, one of the founding fathers of the United States, was a pivotal figure in the American Revolution and the early days of the nation. His contributions to the cause of American independence and his role in shaping the U.S. government are central to the country's history. This comprehensive biography delves into the remarkable story of John Adams, exploring his early life, his contributions to the American Revolution, and his enduring legacy as a statesman and the second president of the United States. Early Life and Education, 1735-1758. John Adams was born on October 30, 1735, in Braintree, Massachusetts, a rural town located south of Boston. John Adams's father, John Adams Sr., was a farmer and shoemaker, and his mother, Susanna Boylston Adams, came from a respected local family. Adams' family was devoutly Puritan, and his upbringing was marked by a strong work ethic, religious faith, and a commitment to education. Adams attended a local school, where he received a solid education in the classics, literature, and history. At the age of 16, he enrolled at Harvard College, now Harvard University, in nearby Cambridge. His college years exposed him to Enlightenment ideas and the intellectual climate of the time, which greatly influenced his thinking. Upon graduation in 1755, Adams briefly taught school in Worcester, Massachusetts, and studied law under the guidance of James Putnam. In 1758, he was admitted to the Massachusetts bar and began his career as a lawyer. Marriage and John Adams's family. In 1764, Adams married Abigail Smith, a highly educated and independent woman with whom he would have a deeply loving and influential partnership. Their correspondence, which spans several decades, provides valuable insights into their personal lives and the political and intellectual climate of the time. The couple had five children, including John Quincy Adams, who would later become the sixth president of the United States. American Revolution and Early Political Career, 1760s-1770s. Adams' early career as a lawyer brought him into contact with the political and social issues of the time. He became involved in the emerging resistance to British colonial policies, particularly the Stamp Act and the Townsend Acts. His involvement in the defense of British soldiers accused of murder in the Boston Massacre, 1770, marked an early and significant role in colonial politics. In 1774, Adams was elected as a delegate to the First Continental Congress, where he worked alongside other prominent figures such as George Washington and Patrick Henry. His contributions to the Congress, as well as his eloquent arguments for independence, made him a central figure in the growing resistance to British rule. Adams' commitment to the cause of independence was unwavering, and he played a crucial role in the drafting of the Declaration of Independence. He served on the committee responsible for drafting the document and was a strong advocate for its passage by the Continental Congress in 1776. Diplomacy in Europe, 1777-1788. Adams' talents as a diplomat were crucial to the American cause during the Revolutionary War. In 1777, he was appointed as one of the commissioners to negotiate a treaty of alliance with France. This alliance was vital to securing French military and financial support for the American war effort. In 1779, Adams was sent to the Netherlands, where he played a key role in securing Dutch recognition of the United States and negotiating loans to finance the war. His diplomatic efforts were instrumental in gaining the support of European powers for the American cause. Adams' diplomatic work in Europe was not without its challenges. He faced personal and political difficulties and was often separated from his family for extended periods. However, his perseverance and dedication to securing international support for the United States were crucial to the success of the American Revolution. The Treaty of Paris, 1783. One of the most significant diplomatic achievements of Adams' career was his role in negotiating the Treaty of Paris in 1783 which formally ended the American Revolutionary War. Adams, along with Benjamin Franklin and John Jay, represented the United States in negotiations with the British. The Treaty of Paris recognized the independence of the United States and established the boundaries of the new nation. Adams' contributions to the treaty negotiations solidified his reputation as a skilled diplomat and a key figure in securing America's place in the world. Early U.S. Government and the Adams Presidency, 1780s-1790s. Upon returning to the United States in 1788, Adams became involved in the formation of the new government. He played a pivotal role in the drafting of the Massachusetts Constitution and served as the state's first vice president from 1789 to 1797. In 1797, Adams was elected as the second president of the United States. His presidency was marked by numerous challenges, 
including ongoing conflicts with France and the passage of the Alien and Sedition Acts, which led to significant political controversy. Adams' presidency was also marked by his desire to avoid war with France, and he successfully negotiated peace with the French in the Treaty of Mortfontaine, 1800. However, his decision to seek peace rather than engage in conflict led to criticism and contributed to his defeat in the 1800 presidential election. Retirement and Later Life, 1801-1826 Following his presidency, Adams retired from public life and returned to his family farm in Quincy, Massachusetts. During this period, he engaged in extensive correspondence with political and intellectual figures of the time. His letters to Thomas Jefferson, his friend and political rival, provide valuable insights into the political and philosophical debates of the early 19th century. Adams' long and active retirement years were marked by his commitment to education, writing, and reflection. He wrote extensively on topics such as government, philosophy, and history, including his notable work, A Defense of the Constitutions of Government of the United States. In 1819, he reconciled with Thomas Jefferson, with whom he had a famous and extensive correspondence until their deaths on July 4, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. Legacy John Adams' legacy is significant and multifaceted. His contributions to the American Revolution, his diplomatic successes, and his role in the early years of the United States have left a lasting impact on the nation. Some key aspects of his legacy include Independence and diplomacy Adams' advocacy for independence and his diplomatic efforts were crucial to securing international support for the American Revolution and defining the new nation. Legal and political thought his writings on government and the principles of a constitutional republic continue to be influential in political and legal philosophy. Presidential legacy. As the second president of the United States, Adams' presidency set important precedents and faced challenging issues that continue to be the subject of historical analysis and debate. Family legacy. The Adams family, including his son John Quincy Adams, continue to play significant roles in American politics and diplomacy. Friendship with Jefferson. His reconciliation and correspondence with Thomas Jefferson, despite the political differences, is celebrated as a testament to the possibility of civil discourse and friendship in the world of politics. Concluding Thoughts John Adams' life and career are a testament to his unwavering dedication to the principles of independence, liberty, and government. Thank you for watching my video. Please send us your comments to Made Better Videos. If you like it, please subscribe and like to the channel.